All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to the team that is currently down two games to nothing in the Eastern Conference Finals. Yes, that is correct. We are currently down 0-2, heading into Game Three of the Eastern Conference Finals. The series series does shift over to Charlotte now, so maybe we can pick up a win. This is a must win. We need to win this game because if we go down 0-3. I think the series is over. I fouled out of last game after a 56 point game. I had 38 out of 40 or 36 out of 38 points at one point in this game. I scored, I believe, how many scored? We scored 25 points in the first quarter. I had 23 of those. So just let that sink in. I got no help and LaMelo Ball has been absolutely useless. He's passing the ball, turned it over six times. Uh, Jimmy Butler has been just unconscious. I held him to a below 50% shooting night. But still did everything else. Bam has been unstoppable. Hero has been unstoppable. Which leads me to my lineup change. I have put Terry Rozier in the starting lineup. We're losing a lot of bench scoring with him in the starting lineup. Like Brandon Boston and Kendrick Williams and Nick Richards are going to have to do a lot for our bench. But I thought Lamelo Ball usually and DeAndre Ayton, they're usually playing with the bench unit. So it's not only just these guys on the court. So... Defensive purposes and matchup wise, Terry Rozier is apparently a better defender in this game than Kendrick Williams, which makes no sense to me whatsoever. So we're going to slide him in there. Hopefully, we can provide some offense if LaMelo Ball decides he wants to forget how to shoot again. Uh, Nick Richards has been insane. He's getting 34 minutes in this um, game, and we have cut the rotation to eight guys, and I am now playing 45 minutes. Yep, that is correct. And we did win the game, so we're going to accept that. And that game is now in the books, heading into game three. Let's hope we can get a win. We go down 0-3. That's it. You can wrap the series up. Oh, I just realized I accidentally checked that off as a win. Oops. Ah, uh, it's whatever. Here we are back on our home court here in Charlotte. Going up against the Heat. Looking to avoid a 3-0 lead. We cannot go down 0-3. I've said it plenty of times. And that man, Cedric Lewis, has to lead us to this win. And it all starts off with defense. All right, I, Cedric Lewis can go and get you a win. He can 100% do it. It's only defensively we need to stop players like Jimmy Butler. Aiton is not starting off good. And the Heat actually deferred to having Jimmy Butler guard me after that 56-point outburst. So it's going to be a lot more difficult now to score. LaMelo Ball, though, you got to get going early. That is his first bucket out of two so far. And Grant and LaMelo have our first points, but we are still down by four. Hero has six early points, not what we need. Rozier has not played good defense on him. Aiton, no, that's not Aiton, and uh, not Embiid either. That is Adebayo getting the um, jump hook and not off to a great start for the Charlotte Hornets. LaMelo, kick it back. I got Kyle Lowry on me. Pulls fade away. That should be good, and it is. Cedric Luz gets his first bucket of the game. All right, we've tied the game off after an Aiton bucket, and I only have two of our 14 points. Aiton has been our main source of offense, but he's not doing much defensively. Not not at all. I mean, Aiton's not really a defensive center. And, yeah, as you can see by the stats, Adebayo's just had his way with DeAndre Aiton. Jimmy Butler is all over me, bro. There is no way I can score on this man. There is no way. Step, I stepped back right. That move's never going to work. Now, now that I think about it, that is just not a move that's going to work. Bam, uh, on LaMelo Ball. That's the mismatch they're probably going to go back to, let's be honest here. Lowry with the ball. Bam, screen. Give me that. Oh, why? How did I not get that? Okay, well, and they're going to give it back. Lowry, that's contested. It's off. We have a chance to tie it up once again. Give it to me. And kick it up to Aiden. He's been our whole offense so far. All right, getting stuffed out here. Tie game. Let's see how this bench does, all right? As you can see, yeah, LaMelo, Rozier, and Aiton were still on the court. Down by four. You know what? I'll take it. Especially now that they have Hero playing small forward. He's going to be guarding me. This is where I'm going to have to be very aggressive on offense. With Hero guarding me, Nick Richards, bro, you can't be found. Oh, they're actually making adjustments. Look at 2K. They have Oladipo guarding me. I hit that shot right over him. But, yeah, Oladipo's playing the shooting guard. Hero's at the... Oh, no, they just swapped him. Never mind. They gave 2K a bit too much credit. They have Jimmy Butler and at the power forward. Okay. The Heat just have it going right now offensively. They're getting mismatches. They're getting whatever they want. And then Aiton, you can't be missing that. You, that's just a no. 
We need as much offense as we can get. And we're not getting it. I mean, they, they came with a game plan. They have shut me down. They have shut down the paint because that's where I scored most of my points. I'm not able to hit many of my mid-range jumpers. That's old depot. That ain't happening. Great defense by Cedric. This is where I can get most of my points is in transition. Pull up. Transition mid-range. That's good. Cedric Lewis, now it's the time to heat up. Bam out of bio has 16 first half points. Aiton is non-existent on the defensive end. This is where I can finally get a three-pointer to go. They have been all over me on that pick and fade. They have that locked down to a T. Cut it back to six. Aiton, no. You got you to gotta be locked in defensively against Bam, bro. Jimmy Butler is going to draw the foul. And one. That is the most Jimmy Butler play I've ever seen. All right, getting subbed out of a tie game. I did tie it up 47 apiece. Let's see what our bench unit can do. Stays tied, 54-54 going into half. I will definitely, most definitely take that. We have a two-point lead here in this third quarter, and we need to take care of it. Right, oh, Brandon, 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 Brandon. You got to pass that to me. It don't matter, though, as I get the foul on, bam, and can extend the lead. I will extend the lead to four, let's be honest here. I'm hitting both of these free throws. But yeah, Brandon, you, you gotta pass that ball. We do have team takeover though. This is this is huge if people can hit their shots. Jeremy Grant has not missed a shot. Jeremy Grant is four for four on the game, and he's three for three from downtown. This man is balling, so I can't get mad at him. He is he is showing out here in a must-win game. Caleb Martin though, he's gonna knock down a corner three. Let's see if Jeremy can keep that hot streak alive. Uh, yep. Jeremy Grant wide open from downtown. He does. He is now four for four from downtown. He's got 14 points in this game. Jimmy Butler struggling. He only has 10 points compared to my 25. I mean, hey, I'm accomplishing what I wanted to, playing defense on Jimmy Butler. Aiden, you got to take advantage of that. You got to take advantage, and he does. Extends the lead to six. Here with the ball. Gives it up to Bam. This man is just 20 points on 10 for 13 shooting. What are you eating, man? He's getting most of those on lobs and dunks. You can't do nothing against it, huh, buddy? Aiton, get Aiton, you gotta kick that back. I am wide open. I was sitting there for so long. I knock it down. And they need a timeout. Bro, I'm watching the Lakers Grizzlies game right now. And my god, the Lakers are just tearing apart the Grizzlies right now in game six. It is not going well for Memphis, alright? Uh you guys gotta pass that a little bit earlier, but it's good. Cedric Lewis hits another three. I'm not sure how many three. I had 19 in that second quarter? I don't even remember scoring that much. Okay, then. Cedric Lewis. I know that first quarter was a struggle. And the Heat miss again. They're going to get the offensive rebound. Old Depot. Not much you can do about that. They are just sticking around. And that is when they're most dangerous. Ask Milwaukee Bucks fans. And the Heat have just tied it up. Excuse me because I am eating beef jerky right now. Oh, yeah. They're just sticking around here. And they're also leaving me open for three again. Cedric Lewis extends it to three. Oh, he just picked up his fifth foul? Oh, my God, bro. I put you in the starting lineup for what? For what? Why did I put you there? To foul out? To score three points and foul out? Come on, man. And we are going to be down by one, most likely, at the end of the third quarter here. Bro. Unless he hits this. And he does not. 86-85. We have another classic. All right, I'm going to solve it out. Still eating beef jerky. Don't have to worry about it. All right, down by one. Let's see what happens. We're down by seven. Okay. Turn over heat. Turn over heat. Why would you lob that? Oh, my God. And the heat, Kyle Lowry fading three, knocks it down. They have a 10-point lead. We have not scored this entire quarter. It's been two and a half minutes. The heat are on a 14-0 run to start this quarter. We're going down to three, man. It's happening. We finally score a point. I don't know why I was talking there. Mel Ball scores our first points of the quarter with seven minutes remaining. Not the way you want to start off a pivotal game three down 0-2. Jimmy Butler, oh my god. Butler's only got 15, man, and they're up by 14. Uh, I'm going to need Nick Riches to not be near me as I just cooked Hero on that shot. I got 36. Give me that. That's a yoink. That's you only get that's a big play. I don't know why Lamelo didn't pass it to me. He me I mean, four minutes left basically. Down by sixteen. We can't stop a brick wall right now. I mean, not much we can do here in this game. And it's looking like we're gonna be in a 3-0 hole 
in this series. And not why, why is Jeremy? I mean, Nick Richards. I don't mind being in the game, but I feel like Jeremy Grant, with how good he's been playing this series, he should be. Especially if that's gonna happen, he should be in this game right now. That that that's just my opinion. Obviously, as a star player of this team, you know, I feel like Jeremy Grant needs to be in this game. Needs to be. Nick Richards though is gonna give us a good bucket. But I mean, this game is too far gone. Yeah, this this game's far gone. I've done all I could, bro. I'm, I just got no help. No help, man. I mean, I had Jimmy Butler, Oladipo, all these guys guarding me all game. And, like, what am I really supposed to do? I can't be the entire offense. I just can't. This is going to end up being a disappointing end to a Cinderella run. It, it was fun while well, it lasted. I mean, we just cruised through those first two rounds. But it's definitely coming to an end. I mean... They're now double teaming me. Jeremy Grant, can you continue your magic? Nope, even Jeremy Grant can't hit shots anymore. And with time winding down, we got outscored by, I believe, like 30 or 40 to 4 or 14, something like that. Now, LaMelo, now you hit a shot. Really? We're going to go down 0-3, 125, 102 victory for the Miami Heat abysmal fourth quarter we were in that whole game up until the end we scored 17 points to that 39 we only hit six shots in that fourth quarter they <clears throat> they hit nine free throws uh four for five from three to our one for seven 13 of 18 from the field not much we can do about that after basically being in that whole game we all got we got outscored by 23 points in that second half which is what we ended up losing by not not good enough. Cedric Lewis, he mainly he really struggled, actually, but he struggled in the second half scoring. Six for 18. I was two for 10 in that fourth quarter. Uh, 40 points, five rebounds, 13 assists. Uh, was good from downtown. Still put up a 12 free throw night. And put up a 20-20 game. I'm not impressed because you allowed Bam at about to score 22 points in the paint. I mean, you're supposed to be a big body in the paint. Jeremy Grant, 18. And this is where it gets bad. LaMelo Ball. Seven points. Seven points. You gotta be... Yeah, you may say, yeah, he's getting a lot of assists. No, he's not, because six turnovers. You, he's not helping us. He's not. Terry Rozier's one for seven. Like, we we can't we can't win a series like that. We can't. We can't win a series with three players scoring above ten points. It's not possible. Especially when they have you have a scoring outburst like this. They had one, two, three, four, five. They had six players over double digits. Six players. None of which shot below 30%. I mean, 50%. Bam had 24 points. He had three blocks and two steals. In half of it. I think all three of those blocks were against me. Hero still had an outstanding night. 23 points on great shooting. Went to the line 11 times, bro. Butler had 21. Lowry had 17. He, how many times did he go to the line? He only went four times. Old Depot had 16 off the bench, and Martin had 11. We'll be fighting for our playoff lives next episode. Now down zero, ga oh games. zero games to three. That's it for me. GG.